show you how to work up my dishpan pinwheel. For this pattern, you're going to need two colors of worsted weight yarn. The pattern calls for Red Heart Super Saver. And you're also going to need a US I9 5.50 millimeter hook. To get started, I'm going to be using some worsted weight cotton. The pattern originally calls for worsted weight acrylic Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is what I made my original dishpan pinwheels with that you can see here. Um, the acrylic I use in between my pots and pans, my nonstick pans, and it helps to prevent them from being scratched. But today I'm going to be using the worsted weight cotton because I actually want to make a dishcloth. So it doesn't matter which one you use. I guess it's just functional for whichever way you're going to use them. Uh, some people use acrylic for dishcloths. It's up to you what you want to use. So to get started on our first round of work, the pattern calls to use to work up a magic ring with a chain three. Now, some people have a hard time doing that, so I'm just going to start with a chain four today. So we've got our slip knot, and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. The beginning chain is our foundation, and then the next three chains are our beginning double crochet. Now we need to work 11 double crochets in our beginning chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. So that should be twelve including our beginning chain three. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's twelve stitches. To finish off we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. Now we can fasten off and draw up your yarn. That completes our first round of work. Getting started on our second round of work, we're not going to be working in our double crochet stitches like we normally would. We're actually going to be working in the spaces between them. So insert your hook between two of your double crochets and we're going to draw up an alternate color. Chain one and then we're going to work a cluster stitch in that same space. Now, my beginning cluster stitch is a little bit different because we already have this beginning chain one. So this is our first repeat. It's a little bit different. I'll show you the repeat again. But to get started on our first cluster stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Now we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and draw through all three loops on our hook. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. That's our first repeat. Getting started on the second repeat. Now before we do that, you'll see here you have a little tail and even the one that you fastened off from your last round, we're going to work right over those. So make sure that you're working over top of them. This will save you from having to sew in your ends later. If you do this with all your strands, the only ends you'll need to sew in are your beginning and your ending tails. All right, so getting started on our second repeat, yarn over, insert your hook into the next space between your double crochets, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We need to do that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. 
yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn, now you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two. One, two. So you can see I've worked over my end. I'm going to continue working over it around until there's barely any of it left. That was our second repeat. I'll show you the repeat a third time. So we're going to work a cluster stitch in our next space. So we want to yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Now we need, want to repeat that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We need to repeat that one more time, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Now you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all four loops. Chain two. One, two. So that's our third repeat. Continue repeating that around, making sure that you work over this tail when you get there. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. You want to make sure that you have 12 cluster stitches. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and that you have 12 chain 2 spaces. And to finish off, you'll notice up at the top of your first cluster stitch, you have what looks like a stitch up here. We're going to insert our hook underneath those two strands of yarn, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. That completes this round of work. You can actually fasten off and draw up your yarn and then you can get started on your next round. Getting started on our third round of work we're going to use our original color that we were using. We got a cranberry here and we're going to insert our hook in one of our chain two spaces and we're going to draw up that cranberry colored yarn. Chain three, one, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we want to work two more double crochets in that same chain two space. So one and then two. So for this round we're going to work three double crochets in each chain two space. So in our next chain two space three double crochets. One two, and then three, three double crochet. As you can see, I'm working over my tails, so I don't have to sew them in later. Three double crochets in the next chain two space. One, two, and then three, Tighten your beginning strand there, or your end strand from last round. And then work three double crochets in that next chain two space. You can see I'm working over both those two strands of yarn there. And continue working three double crochets in each chain two space around. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. When you're done, you should have 36 double crochets. To finish off, join with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. And we can fasten this yarn off, draw it up, and we're ready for the next round. Okay, before we get started on round four of our work, this is our beginning tail, so I'm going to leave that one so I can sew it in. This one we can fasten off. I'm going to fasten these off because they look like they're getting in my way here. But as you can see, they were all worked underneath our work, so we don't have to worry about sewing in our ends. I don't know about you, but I don't like doing that. So the less I have to sew in, the better. All right, so there we go. Those are done. We just have our beginning tail and the tail that we finished off with the last round. We'll work over that 
for this round. Getting started on our fourth round of work, you'll notice that you have three double crochet shells all the way around. You want to insert your hook into the space between your double crochets in the, on the right hand side between those two double crochets of your shell and we're going to draw up our alternate color. Now we need to work a cluster stitch since this is our beginning cluster stitch we're going to chain one and then yarn over insert your hook into that same space yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over draw through two loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook into that same space yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over draw through two loops on your hook you'll now have three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through all three loops on your hook now remember that's our beginning cluster stitch so it's worked a little bit differently than the normal cluster stitch is we're going to chain two next one two Working in the next space between our double crochets, work a cluster stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. We want to repeat that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. That's our first repeat. Well, actually we need to skip this space right in here. So getting started on our next repeat, our second repeat, we've, we're going to skip the space between our shells. Working in the space between our next two double crochets, work a cluster stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Work a cluster stitch in your next space between your double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll notice I'm working over my tails. We need to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We need to repeat that one more time. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to skip the space between our double crochet shells and that's our second repeat. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So remember we skip that space between our shells working a cluster stitch in the next space chain two, one, two cluster stitch in the next space chain two and then skip the space between your shells Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of round four. Now you should have 24 cluster stitches and 24 chain two spaces. And to join, remember we have the, these two little strands that look like a stitch at the top of our beginning cluster stitch. We're going to insert our hook under those two strands of yarn and join with a slip stitch. We can now fasten off and draw up our yarn and that completes this round of work.
Getting started on round five of our work, we're going to be working in our chain two spaces. So insert your hook into any one of those chain two spaces. And we're going to draw up our original color that we were using. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to work two double crochets in that same stitch because that chain three counts as our beginning double crochet. So one, and then two. Make sure you're working over your tails so you don't have to sew them in later. Now for this round we're going to work three double crochets in each chain two space. Same as our third round of work. So that was one, two, and then three. Work three double crochets in the next chain two space. One, two, and three. Continue working around, working three double crochets in each chain two space working over your tails. You can see I'm working over both of them now. Oops, that one didn't work right. And then I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. And for this round you should have 72 double crochets. We're also going to fasten off, draw up our yarn, and that completes this round of work. Getting started on round six of our work, you can insert your hook into any space between your double crochets, doesn't matter whether it's between your shells or in your shells. Just insert your hook in between one of those double crochets, in between two of your double crochets. And then we're going to draw up our alternate color. And we're going to work a cluster stitch. So chain one, remember our beginning cluster stitch is different from all the other ones. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We need to repeat that one more time. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. With three loops on our hook, yarn over and draw through all three loops on our hook. Chain one, now we're going to skip the next space, working in the next space, work a cluster stitch. Now remember to work over your beginning tail, so you, to work our cluster stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Do that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Repeat that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain one. Now we're going to skip the next space. That's actually our second repeat. I'll show you the repeat again. So we've skipped this space, working in the next space we're going to work a cluster stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We want to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain one, skip the next space. So that's your third repeat. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. You should have 36 cluster stitches and 36 chain ones. So to finish off, at the top of your cluster stitch you'll see those two strands of yarn. Insert your hook and then finish off with a slip stitch. We can fasten off this yarn and draw it up. 
And then if you look at your back, you have a couple more tails there that you can get rid of before going to your next round, get them out of the way. This is the best thing about working over your ends, that you don't have to sew them in, you can just trim them. We just have that beginning one there we need to sew in. And the last one we worked, we don't want to cut that yet because we're going to work over it in the next round. Getting started on round seven of our work, we're going to be working in the chain one spaces. And to get started, we're going to draw up our beginning color that we were using, and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we want to work five more double crochets in that same chain one space. So one, two, three, and four. So that's five double crochets in that same chain one space. And then we're going to slip stitch in our next chain one space. That's our first repeat. I'll show you the repeat again, making sure you're working over your tails. We're going to work five double crochets in our next chain one space. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Oh, I got some of my hair there. So this was five. Slip stitch in the next chain one space. That's our second repeat. Pretty easy. So I'll show you one more time. Work five double crochets in the next chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the next chain one space. Oops. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. Now you can fasten off and we can weave in that end tail and our beginning tail and if you have any other ones there's one right there you can just trim those since we worked over those if you didn't work over them you'll need to sew them in and that there is my dish pan pinwheel for more crochet patterns tutorials and yarn shop please visit my blog dearestdebbie.com